Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I have another unboxing for you. I know what you're thinking. Not everybody, but some people think. Is that all you do is unboxings? Well, no, that's not all I do. I do do tutorials. But I do like to do unboxings. And a lot of people like those. So that's why I do them. I try to help uh, educate those who cannot get out of the house. And show them yarns that they can buy online. Or some of the people that live in other countries. Show them yarn. Or some people, just like myself, I just overall enjoy watching other people unbox yarn. Um, I do that quite often on YouTube. Watch other YouTubers unbox yarn. Um, gives me ideas to of other yarns to buy that maybe I haven't seen. Um, but remember, I do cut my tutorials down during the spring and summer because it's just not a popular time for me. So, that being said, oh yes, yes, I do have a tutorial for this hat. I don't know what number it is, but... You'll find it in my hat playlist on my channel. I got about 60 hat, crochet hats on my channel. And I will be adding more for Lion Brand's Hat Not Hate campaign. But um, let's talk about this yarn I got. What do you say? So I bought again from Ice Yarns. Now if you guys have watched me <clears throat> for a while, you know that I am not a huge, huge fan of Ice Yarns. Um, but I did say that I would start buying some of their newer yarns and maybe some of the ones that I've had before that I actually that I liked and showing you guys so so that's what I did um and I'm going to show you what I got right now are you guys excited I'm excited now I did email them all the times that I've bought from ice yarns most of the time I email them and I ask them if they will ship it in a box because I that's like a pet peeve of mine I don't like when, when companies ship in bags I understand that it's probably cheaper but they always do ship it in a box for me but this time they did not honor my request and they shipped it in the bag and it was busted open but that's okay I think um but I hope it's all there um more than likely it probably is I don't know Customs could have opened it. I don't know. It's hard telling. But anyways, I'm not. I'm not really complaining about it. Okay, so Ishorns is based in Turkey. Um, if you don't know, they are. They sell a really, really cheap yarn, but they have an extremely high shipping rate. Some people say that it equals itself out. I think it just depends on the yarn you get. At the end, I will tell you how much I pay per skein. And some of their yarns are identical to the yarns we have here in the U.S. Um, some of them are completely different that I've never even seen before. It was actually pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, some of these yarns I've had before and some of them I have not. I have had this one and I did buy it again. It is their uh, Mystique. I really like this one and like I said, I bought it once before and I give I gave it away uh, when I used to have giveaways and it was one of my favorites that, that they had at the time um, but it's very pretty it kind of reminds me it's a roving type of yarn as you can see the color I never had this color the color of this one is very very pretty it's classified as a bulky number five 25 wool 75 per percent acrylic i'm gonna tell you the um the amount that's in it in meters because that's what it says here you can look on their website and it'll tell you the yardage i don't have their website pulled up i only have my invoice pull, pulled up so i can tell you how much it cost so uh 25 wool 75 acrylic bulky number five course this is made in turkey um i'm not gonna like rub it all over me at this time like i normally would because of covid19 but i would love to do that but i really like this one it is nice and soft and as you can see like i said i classify that as a bulky five but as it with all roving yarns they tend to go from thick, thick to thin so it probably goes from a four to a five nice and soft scarfable is my term for i would wear it as a scarf i would wear it on my body um, um you know without anything underneath it it's soft enough to wear against your skin so it's very pretty um the collar i got on this one is okay so these are 8.99 and that is uh, for the entire pack of four the thing is with ice orange they come in packs i see them come in two in a pack up to ten in a pack i think 
it just depends but you have to buy the entire pack you cannot buy singles so four of them were $8.99 um, which seems reasonable but remember you do have they do have a high shipping cost with all, I'll go over that with you at the end <clears throat> of oh, the uh, meters I'm gonna give you the meters remember you can look up a yardage if that's what you usually go by because this doesn't say yardage 160 meters um, the color of this one is called orange gold purple yellow mint but it's very pretty I'm very happy with that color I like it I did get it in another color here you know I love brown <clears throat> very pretty uh, the color of this one is just called brown shades I like it so those were four, both of those the same yarn four for $8.99 now this I have purchased before and um this again was one of my favorites <laughs> that I have purchased from Ice Yarns. I did give it away, <clears throat> or I did get rid of the one that I had, but I actually bought two packs this time because I have a plan. I'm gonna make something with this one this time. I'm, not, I'm keeping it. It's very, very pretty. I love the color of it. It's super gorgeous. My camera is picking up true colors tonight can't believe it sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't but that is just about exactly how it looks this color is gorgeous so this is the Rosetta worsted now they have two Rosetta's Rosetta's on there one of them is like a two weight I think maybe a three weight and then they have the worsted which is a four weight that's what you want well if you like thicker yarns if you like the thin ones you want to go with the, the other one but this is considered a uh, number four, 30% wool, 70% acrylic, 200 meters. Now, it is a roving style yarn, so it will go from thick to thin. It looks like it's about a five to a four in some certain spots. Color is absolutely gorgeous. The, the, this one's called uh, brown, fuchsia, turquoise, and gold color. Um, I bought... I, two the, they come in a four pack four pack i bought two four packs of the exact same color so i'm gonna make a bigger bigger project with that and the two four packs were 17.98 for uh for eight skeins actually but they do come in the four pack gorgeous yarn um so the more i buy from ice yarns the more i start you know i like it um but i have been disappointed quite a bit in the past i think that's because i was so unfamiliar with the yarns and one time um on one of my unboxings i asked my youtube fans that buy from ice yarns to help me pick out yarns and they told me some and so far i've been pretty satisfied with what i've been getting they were very good and then i got the risotto again this is i'm making something for evelyn with this one and it is so they're $8.99 a four pack is what they are. Um, this is just called uh, Pink Shades Lilac and Purple. Very pretty. So that's the same as I just showed you. But Evelyn's colors. It's a very nice yarn. Um, I'll just take it out and show you for those that want to see the color up close. Since my camera is showing a true color today. Which is sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. That's very pretty. She's going to really like something in that. And I love roving yarn, so it's great. The only thing is the bag crinkle. It's loud. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Okay, so this is Evelyn's. Looks like Evelyn might like this too. Um, this is the Fantasia yarn. Now, this is supposed to be similar to Scarfy, which I, I bought this before, and I agree. It is similar to Scarfy yarn. It does have less yardage than Scarfy has per skein, but the way it feels, the way it looks, it's very similar to Lion Brand Scarfy. So, if you like Lion Brand Scarfy, you'll like the Fantasia. It comes in, it has a lot of different colors that Scarfy doesn't have, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's 75% premium acrylic, 25% full wool, I'm sorry, medium weight number four. And again, it is a roving style. Um, they classify Scarfy as a five. So 
but this looks very similar. I think it can go four to five, just the same as scarf. You can go to four to five. It's uh, 190 meters, and these are $7.99 for a pack of four. And the color I have is rose pink lilac yellow. I see no yellow in it, but hey, you never know. I might get into the skiing and there might be some yellow. So there's that one. <clears throat> I like that one. Bought this before. Did a tutorial on it. Tutorial on it. Same color. I absolutely, I really, really like this yarn. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. This is their Ice Yarns Universe. Look at that sparkly stuff. Now this reminds me of like rock. Uh, if you bought um, Rockstar yarn or rock and roll yarn, um, patents metallic. It's a yarn like that. It's a chain spun yarn. It's very, very pretty. Look at that shine. It's gorgeous. It's very pretty. I bought it again because I had to have it again. It's 19 wool, 11 acrylic, 70 polyamide, 100 or 230 meters, and it's a medium weight number four. I agree with that medium weight number four, and I agree that it's a spectacular, spectacular color on this yarn. They had other colors. This was by far, by far my favorite. It's the same one I bought last time and made something out of it, but a scarf, I mean a scarf out of it. Uh, but I want to make something else out of it too. So the un the universe yarn, the color is called Rainbow, is eleven ninety nine, and that is for four skeins of it. Some of them are a little more than others, and they also have some really cheap yarn too. So. Um, um, and then I have another one which I've previously purchased in the past. Really liked it. I never had this color before. Um, but we will. It's called Vivid of Wool. Ah, oh, that's pretty. I just love these roving yarns like this. The ones that go from thick to thin and they're just like a solid, you know, a solid strand, not multiple strands. I can't explain it. That's nice and soft, scarfable. All this yarn that I showed you is scarfable so far. That's so pretty. I like that. It's got lots of colors in it. I like how it has some black in it too. That's beautiful. Vivid wool, four weight, 60 wool, 40 acrylic. Um, 80 meters. And it comes in, a, in an eight pack. And the vivid wool for an eight pack is eleven ninety nine, and that's for so that's eighty meters for eight balls for eleven ninety nine. My that's pretty. And the color is called green shades blue fuchsia orange and black. I don't know, but I really really think the color is gorgeous. That would make something very beautiful for fall, even spring maybe. That touch of black in it is super pretty. It's got like every color almost under the rainbow. I mean, there's not, well, there's not really red, but there's some corals in there. That's a very pretty yarn. Very, a very pretty. I'm just bringing out a couple more and see that. That's gorgeous. Dig under and you find more colors that you didn't know existed. I like that a lot. Okay. See, the more I buy from Ice Yarns, the more I do I do like them because now I know what yarns I like. I did get some some new ones though that I've never tried before, so I don't know how those are going to be. Um, we'll try it though. This is um, Ambient, which I have had before. This is similar to uh, Lion Brand um, Landscapes. If you've tried that before, that blue is gorgeous. It's very pretty. Again. A roving style yarn um, they classify it as a bulky five which I would agree that it goes from like a four to a five um, 50 wool 50 acrylic 134 meters that is beautiful 699 for four that is so pretty very scarfable very much resembles lion brand landscapes but they did have a lot of different colors that you wouldn't find in the landscapes uh, line so that's that's pretty that's beautiful 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 yarn the color is this called blue shade trying to get through this as quick as possible but yet be thorough as i can so i got something here i've never gotten nothing 
free from them. <gasps> they sent me a mask for COVID-19. Say, oh my gosh, that's so thoughtful. Stay safe and strong. We love you. And it tells you how to use your mask. It's a made in Turkey. It's a washable, reusable mask. But that is so thoughtful of them. That makes me like them even more. I wasn't expecting that. That's super cool. Because now in my, it's washable, reusable, soft elastic, thick sizes, antibacterial, a gift from Ice Yarns. Very, very thoughtful Ice Yarns. I have no idea if you watch my videos, but if you do, very, very, very thoughtful of you. Like I said, it makes me like you even more that you would even think to put that. That's so kind of them. That's very nice. And I loved all the yarn that I opened in this pack so far. Um, now I have one more that I don't think I've tried before. But I knew I would like it by the way it looked. So I got three different colors of it. I'm a big fan of yarn that has colored flex in it. I don't know if you guys are. I love it. So I got this. And let's see. Oh, it's soft. It's nice. Scarfable. It's called Wool Tweety Super Bulky. So they classify this as a super bulky six. I would say that it's a thinner bulky six. Get it up close. That's about the right color. Look at all those specks of color in it. That's so pretty. It's 25 wool, 72 acrylic, and 3% viscose. The viscose is a color flex in it. I really like it. That's very pretty. I knew that I would like that though. These run $7.99 for four. The color of this one is called Latte, and there are 120 meters, and there's four, yeah, four in a pack, $7.99. I didn't think that was bad, um, and I love fleck yarn. Sometimes I have a hard time finding uh, it here in the States, fleck yarn in the colors that I want it to be in. So I found this and I thought I like it. This one's my favorite. Of course, I love brown. That is gorgeous. That's definitely going to make a hat for me. Oh, I like it. Got, that one's really pretty too. And I like bulky yarns. Um, bulky is my favorite. This is a super, this they say is a super bulky, but I still think it's a little bit on a thinner side. You guys would probably agree with me on that. Uh, but I would say it's a thick, thick bulky five. That's nice. It's so pretty color of this one is called hey it's called brown <laughs> and then I I love mustard too mustard is another really one of my favorite colors mustard browns you know what I love all colors I'm just a color person I guess I like them all I used to would have Pacific colors but I like all colors now but there are some I favor this is beautiful I like the mustard color yeah that's pretty. What's it called? What's it called? Gold. That's pretty. And like I said, $7.99 for four. Okay. Um, yeah, a little bit more here. I'm trying to make it as quick as possible because some people don't like my long videos. Can't say that. I don't blame them. I wouldn't want to listen to me forever either. Okay. So I think this was new. Yes, it was new. Um, yeah, I'm going to be honest. I can't remember which ones are new and which ones were old. But I, I do think this one was one of their new ones. Oh, it's super cool, too. I like those thick yarns. Scarfable. It's got that black running through it. Oh, my colors in it. That's beautiful. They had another one I had a hard time deciding from. But this is called Alpaca Color Jumbo. It is a super bulky number six. I think it's a very super bulky six. Very pretty. Nice and soft. 15 alpaca, 15 wool, 70% premium acrylic. 60 meters. And this is $9.99 for two balls. Um, but it's very pretty. You don't know how much I want to really touch it. But I don't want to touch it too much. I'll, I'll, you know, all over me. It's a very pretty color. The color I have is called brown, orange, gold. Um, I think they had a few colors there. This was more my colors. They had one more that I really wanted, but I didn't get it. But that was that one. Let's keep going. I'll move as fast as I possibly can. 
Um, I think this was one of their new ones. The bag is ripped open. That's okay. That's okay. This is Star Glitz. It's pretty. I like the glitzy yarn. You can really see it in there. It's slight, but you can see it. Scarfable. It's not extremely soft, but I mean, I would compare it to Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn or something like that. Soft enough that you could wear a scarf out of it. The uh, sequence, you can feel it a little bit in there. Not the sequence, but the streamer. Um, Star Glitz is 94% acrylic, 6% metallic. Uh, lightweight number three, I would agree. 320 meters. The color is salmon. It's $5.99 for a four pack. So I do like this one. Um, it's very pretty. The color is very pretty. Um, the sparkle is gorgeous. It reminds me of like this pixie dust on it, kind of. But so far, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like it. So far, my least favorite. Only because it's not quite as soft and you can feel that sequence in it um, when, you, when you touch it. Oh, this one I was excited to get. They had some so I don't like to make socks, but you don't have to make socks out of sock yarn. Okay, so hand dyed sock yarn is what this is. Very pretty. That's about what I expected it to feel like. It's gonna feel like wool, because kind of that's kind of how sock yarn is. It's 75% superwash wool and 25% polyamide. 400 meters classified as a number one. And I would say, yes, it's a number one, number two. Very thin sock yarn is like that. Um, but I thought this would make a very, a very pretty shawl. I won't make socks. As I think socks is like my worst enemy. If I was Superman, it would be my kryptonite <laughs> socks. <laughs> But this is $13.99, and there are four hanks in this bag. Oh, did they ever have some pretty colors of this sock yarn? I think out of all of them, I have out of all the yarn I bought, this one was the one that I had the most trouble deciding what color I wanted to get. I had a hard time deciding, um, but I decided on that green. What's this? Did I already buy this? I don't know. It's some more um, Rosetta yarn. I bought, I bought another color of it. Oh, is that ever pretty? This is the Rosetta worsted that I showed you earlier. Um, so it's a 30 wool, 70 acrylic, 200 meters. Number four, roving style. Very scarfable very pretty that is gorgeous 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 the color is called uh, pink shades burgundy and gray they really tell you what what the color is don't they i think they might have different color names on their site but i'm just reading it off an invoice oh that's pretty that's so pretty those reds and those pinks i like that so remember these were four for eight ninety nine so I already showed you that before. That was just another color that I got. Oh my gosh, this looks like something very pretty. This was, I believe, new. I think, I can't, don't hold me to it if I say it's new. I'm not 100% certain because I tried to buy some new and then I bought something I knew that I liked and then some I thought I'd like. And so I don't know for sure. That's extremely soft. That's excre extremely scarfable. And it's extremely pretty. Because I like a little bling in my yarn. And that has got it. It's got streamers running through it. I don't know if my camera is picking them up or not. Can you see them a little bit there? Oh, that's pretty. This is called Mariella. It's classified as a lightweight three. 15 mohair, 35 acrylic, 40 polyamide, 10% lurex, <clears throat> 165 meters. And I would agree with a lightweight three. It could be almost be a uh, lighter weight four. 
it does have a fuzz to it which um means the fuzz to it to it only means to me that it could have a little trouble pulling it pulling it out if you make a mistake but that doesn't bother me if the yarn's pretty this is very pretty very soft i would highly recommend this one i would probably highly recommend a lot of these that i've got so far um this is 9.99 for an eight pack Mariella, Mir Mir Mariella, very soft very pretty and it is uh appears to be chain spun that is beautiful wow i'm in awe on that one that one's really pretty I haven't been disappointed in, I can't say, in any of these, actually. It's very, very pretty. Okay, y'all hurry. Marvelous Pure Wool. Anything that has to do with wool, I love. Because I love wool, in case you didn't know. That's pretty. Now that's from the same one. The pink's just inside of that one, as you can see. So this reminds me, it's a little, it's wooly. I like it though. Um, it's 100% wool. And if you've ever felt, this is a roving style. Um, you know, it's not super stiff. I would wear a hat out of it. Um, I'd probably make a sweater, but I would wear a shirt underneath it. But I still like it. I do, because I love wool. Any, any, pretty much any type of wool. Um, this one's a medium weight number four, roving style. Um, 100 meters. There's eight of them in there. And it is $13.99. The color is black turquoise and fuchsia that I got here. So I do like that. I think it's very pretty. And I think it'll make something very pretty did i give you the my short i always say my short term memory is gone yes 100 meters that's pretty it reminds me of some yarns that i have had before <coughs> from hobium i know you're sick of it i in. you can feel free to turn me off whenever this is um i don't know what it is yeah let me look it up here you got it Rock and roll. Now, Hobium has rock and roll yarn. Um, but theirs seems to be a bit shinier. This one looks dull, like a dull rock and roll yarn. It's not as shiny as that universe yarn. Nonetheless, it's still very, very pretty. Um, it is 15 wool, 35 acrylic, 50 modal or model mo mo modal something like that 125 meters medium weight number four i would agree with that it's gorgeous it's pretty yarn very scarfable um it's different than their rock star yarn if you've ever had that it has very shiny coat on it this this particular color here is not shiny at all it's it's almost like rock star but dull no shine on it um not that it's any less pretty it's still very pretty uh color is called pink shades blue shades and green yeah i like that one too <clears throat> 8.99 for eight of them nice 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 i got this now this was new and it reminds me of something that i get from hobium <clears throat> i actually think it might be the exact same thing this is called sky cotton it's classified as a lightweight three, 85 meters, 100% cotton. Um, it's a very, it's a nice soft cotton too. I like it. And yes, I do think that this is um, identical. Okay, so they have different labels on them. <clears throat> This one says wool cotton fireworks. Okay, I know that's not what this is. This is called sky cotton. I remember from their website. And most of them say that. I think it just got mislabeled. Um, 
This reminds me of Hobium's Mirafella Bella Cotton, and I really like that cotton from Hobium, and I, I think this could be probably the same thing. I really like this too. It's very pretty. In fact, I have this exact same color on my shelf up there from Hobium. So, uh, yeah, they had all the same colors too, so I'm almost certain it's probably the same. Um, you know, a lot of yarn companies, you know, they get yarns from the same manufacturers and they're, they're pretty much the same. So, this one is $9.99 for one, two, three, four, five, six, eight balls. And the color is called Pink Shades. It's a soft cotton. Um, be nice for summer. You can make a top or anything out of it. So, that's nice. I like that one. Figured I would. Figured I would. I think this one was new. I, I don't know for sure. But new to me. New to me. Cotton pastel. It seems like all I picked was roving yarns this time. I like roving yarns, so they're my favorite. Cotton pastel. Medium weight number four. 77% cotton, 23% acrylic. Um, 70 meters. It's very pretty. See what it looks like. Um, it's got white. It, it appears to be chain spun. And it's got a fuzz to it. It's soft enough to be scarfable. You can make a top out of it or something. I like the color. The color is called pastel purple and turquoise. Because you can see it does have some green in it. I'm happy with this one. <coughs> Excuse me, please. It's uh, $7.99 for a bag of eight. Uh, so yeah. It's pretty. I like it. Not disappointed. Not disappointed. Oh, this I thought. I saw this and I'm like, this looks like Lion Brand's Boing Yarn. Have you guys ever seen Lion Brand's Boing Yarn? This looks like this could possibly be very similar to that. And it is. It's probably the same thing. I don't know. It could be. You know, that happens. Like I said, yarn companies, sometimes they use one minute factory. And... So this is called Galaxy Rainbow Yarn. And it, it is almost identical to Lion Brand's Boing Yarn, if you've ever seen that. This was the only color that they had at the time that I purchased it. They, I mean, they might get more in. I can more than likely, but it's super bulky number six. Um, it's 70 meters, 4% acrylic, 1% polyester. The rest of it's cut off. I can't, I can't tell what it, what it's made out of. Um, yeah, that's got, that's the Boing yarn from Lion Brand. It's got to be Boing, 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 Boing. I like it. I like Lion Brand's Boing yarn too, though. So, these were $7.99 for a pack of four. So, moving on. I had to get this. I, it's not new. But I've seen it like a hundred times on their website. And I always wanted to try it. Because I thought it'd be really pretty to make a baby blanket or something out of. This is called Puffy Pom Pom. I don't know how easy that's going to be to work with, but I can tell you I've worked with worse. So, <laughs> but isn't that pretty? You guys are probably like, ew, that looks like baby vomit or poop or something, but I like that color, like avocado and stuff. That's just my style. They had plenty of other colors to choose from. It's extremely soft. Um, puffy Pom Pom, it's 85% microfiber. 15% polyamide, 120 meters, classified as a bulky five. Very thick bulky five. Very soft, very scarfable, very baby blankety. I like it. 120 meters, a four pack. I got two four packs of the same color, and they were, it was $15.98 for two four packs. So if you want to do that math real quick, how much one four pack would be. But that's beautiful. Remember, you don't have to like this color. I like non-traditional colors for baby blankets. They had lots of pretty colors. I really had a hard time choosing. Of course, leave it to me to get the avocado green. <laughs> that's what I do. So I bought this before too. This is their Paris yarn. Very, very pretty yarn. Um, lots of pretty colors in it. <clears throat> and 
I wasn't disappointed last time I got it and I'm not disappointed this time. Look at that sparkle. That color is gorgeous. It looked gorgeous on their website and it does not disappoint. Very, it's uh, scarfable. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> it's chain spun and look at the sparkles in that. It's like, uh, I don't know, galaxy looking. It's very, very pretty. So the Paris yarn is 30 wool, 40 acrylic, and 30% metallic. There's a lot of metallic in there. Um, 125 meters, and it's classified as a four weight. It is a four weight. A little thicker of a four weight, but it's still a four weight. Very pretty. It's, it's scarfable. I would wear it. Well, I don't know what I'm going to make with it, but I would wear it as something. And these, the color is called black turquoise and fuchsia as you can probably tell but that's a pretty color i have a really pretty uh green one uh and blue one that i bought also it's it's a very pretty yarn um eight pack 10.99 so i'm almost done i'm sorry i apologize you, like i said you can turn me off if you want i won't take no offense to it some people are just faster at unboxings than me, but I just like uh, to love on the yarn a little longer <laughs> if, I, if I can. So this is um, very, very soft. It is soft like a latte cake soft. That's what it reminds me of a latte cake. Uh, Bonnie Bon. 50% polyamide, 40% premium acrylic, 10% polyester, 175 meters, classified as a um, four weight. And I would agree that it's a four weight. It's very fuzzy, and then, and then it's got the little strings hanging off of it. My daughter picked this color, not Evelyn, Olivia. She helped me pick out this one. It's very pretty, and it's super soft. Um, and like you see, it's got the fuzzies on it. It appears, if you pull on them, that they do come off. So it does shed, which is unfortunate. No one likes a shedding yarn, but it doesn't still mean I won't make something with it. Um, $7.99 for a three pack. Lots of pretty colors to choose from in that. Not disappointed still. I'm almost uh, done. This one was a, a new one that they had. I remember it being, being new. <clears throat> Dang it, I ripped my bag. I hate ripping the bag. This is their uh, Merino Gold Light. Um, it's 60% Merino, 40% acrylic, 200 meters, lightweight number three. So it does feel like you can tell there's Merino in it, but it's still scarfable. It's not, you know, it's not the softest, like I said, that you're ever going to feel. But, because it has, you know, but it's still, it's still scarfable. The color of this is, I mean, I would wear a scarf out of it and a hat out of it. The color is dark red. $6.99 for four. Not a bad yarn. Not my favorite of all of them that I got, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Um... This one is Rainbow Solid is what this is called. This reminds me of Red Heart Unforgettable, only in a solid color. Very, very gorgeous red, I have to admit. That is super pretty. It feels almost identical to Red Heart Super Red Heart Unforgettable and Lion Brand Landscapes, only it's a lot thinner than that. It's uh, a three weight 100% premium acrylic acrylic it's called rainbow solid 240 meters and it is a roving style so you can see that it will go from three to four weights in certain spots I like it I love red heart unforgettable um, I love the solid red it's very very pretty I'm not sure four 99 for a four pack it's a good deal oh, <clears throat> okay i like it um okay i just got a couple more i just got a couple more okay this i know they have at hobium i 
bought it before. <laughs> I have some on, on my shelf, probably. No, I don't have any. I don't have any. I ain't got rid of it all. I already gave it away in giveaways. But it's called Summer Yarn. And as you can see, you can see that little bit of a uh, different color. A little, it's not really a streamer, I would say so much, but it does have a little bit of a color that makes it shimmer just a bit. It's very pretty. It's it's lightweight. It's soft. They, it would make a very nice uh, summer garment. Of course, it would. It's very pretty. Um, they classify it as a two weight, seventy percent mercerized cotton, thirty percent viscose, three hundred and fifty meters. Now they said it's a two weight. Let's check it out. Out. That's pretty. The color change on that is pretty. It's pretty subtle. Um, yeah, it's a two weight, but that that's pretty. I like that. So $9.99 for a four pack and the color is pink, blue, and olive. And it comes in when I buy it, when I have purchased it from Hobie and before, it comes in the same package here. Different brand name, you know, but same yarn. It happens. You get that a lot. Um, but it comes like this. Very pretty. I just have a couple more. I'm sorry. Just wanted to get some of our new ones out of the way. What am I going to do with all this yarn? Everybody always asks me that. I don't know. Probably donate some of it around me. Ooh, that's soft. That's pretty. Um, bamboo Soft Air. It, they're not kidding. It's nice. It's soft. You, It's chain spun right away. I can see it. 15% bamboo, 85% acrylic. I would have liked to see a little bit more bamboo in that, but... It's still very pretty and very soft. 145 meters. If I ever said yards one time, I meant meters. I apologize. Um, I just get uh, wrapped up in the yarn. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Wrapped up in the yarn. Get it? That's a cheesy joke. I'm sorry. Now I'm embarrassed. I even said it. Anyways, it's a classified as a four-way. And I would agree with that. That's pretty. Pretty and soft. You can see the fuzz on it. Bamboo soft air. Very nice. That would make a very pretty lightweight. I don't know. Anything summery. And fall also. I think it would be even warm enough for fall. The chain, it being chain spun, gives it makes it so lightweight like that. It's very pretty. I like it. Um, the color I have is called Salmon Melange, and um, it's $10.99 for a pack of eight. I've got two packs left. Two packs. I'm almost done. Two packs. Okay. I'm just being silly. This is bright. I must have been thinking summer on this one. I don't know what's going on here. Um, this was a new two. It's called... Rockabilly color. That's silky soft. Like, uh, that's satiny soft. That's pretty soft. Look at that. Ooh. I like that. Chain spun. Similar to the rock and roll yarn. Patent's metallic. Not quite as shiny. A lot silkier. Mmm, that's pretty. Very extremely scarpable. 67%. Tensile 30... 33% polyamide, 125 meters, medium weight number four. I cannot get over how silky soft that is. That is going to make an excellent, that would make an excellent drapey summer top, summer shawl. It's very, very pretty. Like I said, it's very similar to the rock and roll or the patents metallic. Not quite as shiny, but still a little shiny and super silky soft. Super silky. That's very pretty yarn too. I might try another color next time, but it's still pretty. It kind of reminds you of summer, doesn't it? Um, the color is called red, yellow, and beige. $8.99 for a pack of eight. Very pretty. I got one left. I actually bought this one for a good friend of mine who said that she uh, wanted it. And I said I would throw it in on my order because I was going to be ordering. So she didn't have to pay that high shipping on it. 
and I'll just ship it to her. But I don't think I don't think she'll mind if I show you guys real quick. I hope not, anyways. You don't mind, do you, Brenda? She won't mind. I hope not. Okay, and this is I bought for Brenda. This is uh, all right. Threw this in for her. This is their ladder yarn. So it's like a novelty yarn. You see that? It's got the ladders. Brenda is a good friend of mine. She's on my Facebook page. And she can make the most remarkable... Um, she can take my tutorials and put yarns together. Like you would never even think of. Like yarns like this and stuff. And her color palette is beautiful. And the way she puts yarns together. She makes my items... Um, look really really good um, she's very good at that uh, but this is a ladder yarn this is 100% polyester and like I said it's got see this is not the type of yarn that I would generally use myself but she will use it and she'll take one of my tutorials and she'll make something super beautiful out of it I know she will and I can't wait to see it um, it's 100% polyester classified as a bulky 5 and 150 meters and the ladder and the ladder yarn runs $6.99 for a pack of six. This one's called Rose Pink and Black. So that's it on my ice. Oh, oh, I'll show you one more thing I got. So this was actually two separate orders. They just came on the same day. I got two more face masks in this bag. I still can't believe how kind of them. And I got an ice yarns bag. I've ordered from ice four or five times, maybe now. I have never received. And I've always spent way, way, way over $50. I've never received a bag from them. This is the very first time I've got an ice yarns bag. So that's what that looks like. I've never got one before. It's cool. So let's end the video. Um, I like everything that I got. I was not disappointed in any of it. There were, um, this one, the Star Glitz, I will probably not buy again. Not that it's not pretty. It just doesn't really feel spectacular. I think I could probably find something similar in, in the uh, big box stores here. Um, this one, I really, really like it. It's super soft like latte cakes. But since it sheds, I may not buy this one again either. This is the Bonnie Bon. Everything else, simply gorgeous. The more I buy from Ice Yarns, the more I like their yarn. I, of course, there were some I like more than others. I mean, you could tell by my reaction. But I absolutely like everything that I got. Like I said, some of it was stuff that I bought before. And some of it was new. I loved a lot of their new stuff. It was very, very pretty. So this might be the fact that I liked every single thing that I got. The fact that I actually got an ice yarns bag. The fact that they were so kind and thoughtful to send face masks during this time of COVID-19 um, in their packages makes me like them even more. So I will purchase from them again in the future i'm actually kind of excited to wait to see what other kind of new yarns they come out with um so that's it everybody if you like I'm, i apologize it was long i know some of you don't like long ones some of you do i do them long that's just the way i am you don't i know you never have to watch if you don't want to i do have more unboxings from um hobie emin uh, um personers and stuff coming up and some new tutorials for summer so don't forget to hit that like button that subscribe button um so you don't and hit that bell so you don't miss out any of my tutorials or unboxings or whatever i do remember this yarn seems oh i was going to tell you what i paid shipping is very very expensive at ice yarns i looked on the bags what you pay for shipping is really what you pay for shipping. The bag says it. It, it says it. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I spent. And I'm not going to tell you what I spent on shipping. But I did average out every single ball I got. 
and then I took the, what I paid for the yarn, what I paid for the shipping, and it averaged out to be about $2.80 a ball for everything. Um, that was the average, including the more expensive ones to the cheap ones. Um, now you have to remember some of the balls were small and only had like 70 yards in them. Um, some were bigger. Some were nicer than others. Um, do I think that that was a good purchase? $2.80 for all the yarn that I just showed you. I do think that was an extremely good purchase. I had had times where I thought that maybe the yarn that I got was not worth what I paid. This time, no. I think some of the yarn was well worth more than that, actually. Um, it's it's very pretty and I'm not disappointed. This is my best ice yarn haul. I'm very happy with every single, happy with, I don't dislike anything that I got and I'm extremely happy with most of it. I will, uh, you know, people always say, what are you gonna do with all that yarn? What are you gonna do with all that yarn? I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'll use it for tutorials. A lot of it I'll say for winter tutorials. I'll donate, I donate a lot locally. Doesn't matter what I'm gonna do with it. I buy it to educate those who can't get out of the house i spend my own money on it so people don't have to waste their own money on it i show i show it up close as and talk about it in as much depth and in detail and i'm as honest as possible remember i'm never i'm not affiliated with any yarn company i purchased all this myself i don't have affiliated links that where if you click on them i get paid i do not care if you buy any yarn that i show you from any company i don't care I don't make money off of it. I show you because I care that I want you not to waste your money. So I only give you my honest opinion. That's why I do it. That's it. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope I hope you enjoyed. Um, look over there on the right hand side of the screen. I'm going to put a playlist of all my videos. It's got like hundreds of crochet tutorials. Hundreds. Lots of yarn unboxings from all different companies. Um, yarn reviews, um, yarn shopping trips, all kinds of stuff. I also have a new family vlog. There's a link to that over on the, um, sometimes my camera's backwards, but on the, um, other side of the screen, um, if you guys want to check, check me out there, but I appreciate everybody watching me. Super happy with this. Best ice yarn haul ever. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, look, see you on my next video. Okay. Bye-bye everybody.